Police say the man who tipped off authorities to the West Side location is a prison inmate. And after more digging, News Channel 5's chief investigator, Ron Regan, learned that inmate has a checkered past. News Channel 5's Stephanie Ramirez joins us now with that part of the story. Stephanie? And Danita, police uh, identified that inmate as Robert Wolford, who claims to know the whereabouts of Amanda Berry's body. And now, while authorities say they find his tip credible, many are doubting whether or not he's telling the truth, and that is because of his troubled past. Sentenced to 26 years in prison for the 2007 murder of a homeless man, Westside's Brandy and Scott Borio now believe it was 25-year-old Robert Wilford, who was the man they saw yesterday guiding police around this vacant lot. There was a guy they brought here from Lucasville, and he was in shackles. And he was pointing out spots where the body was supposed to be. Wilford is the inmate police say tipped authorities off to this location after sources say he admitted to being a first hand participant in Amanda Berry's disappearance nearly a decade ago. Based on the information we have, this is pretty credible information, and I think. You know, there's a good likelihood we're going to find something. But after further investigation, News Channel 5's chief investigator, Ron Regan, uncovered official documents that show Wilford suffers from an unidentified psychotic disorder. By the time he was just 12 years old, records say Wilford was already arrested on theft charges and was arrested each year after that until he turned 17. At age 21, Wilford was sent to prison for stabbing a man to death in a drug deal that happened in the very same neighborhood where the search continues for Amanda Berry. It's eerie because you don't know what's going on, like down the street, and you're that close to it. But the shocking discovery comes as Ron Regan learned Wilford has been desperately trying to get out of prison since he went in back in 2008. To add to his troubled past, a family member reportedly told News Channel 5 Wilford was molested, involved in prostitution, and even used drugs at the early age of nine. Now, News Channel 5 was told uh, that Wilford admitted to police a second person was involved in Barry's disappearance. Now, for right now, police say they're only focusing on the lot uh, behind us here. Meanwhile, I did speak to Barry's sister. She says her phone was just uh, ringing off the hook today with phone calls, but she says she's just not ready to talk yet. Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.